main people I want to thank is the Wagstaffs, Coben and Jill and her family, because of their love for what they do, and make sure they share it with the community, no matter what their income level is or who they are. No matter what their neighbors say, do, or whatever, their commitment is what brought this together. It's a wonderful home because we had a lot of wonderful people come together to take care of you so you can take care of your community. We bonded with 2,000 to 3,000 people in a short period of time. I've hugged so many people lately. I'm, it's, more, it's amazing. I'm still worn out. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Each moment, taking time with that friend to help them, taking time with them to hold them, taking time when they need it, and when they do something good to pat them on the back because we all need it, especially now when times are tough. And that's what they're going to do for us. They're going to take our community and pat them on the back. And they're going to bring them in and they're going to teach them and they're going to help them. And now they're going to have time and they're going to have their time and their space to do it as well. First of all, I want to thank Art and this family for doing everything that they did. Just everybody that's been involved helping out in one way. I think it was really a blessing to be able to show everyone in this town like what you guys can accomplish, what we can all accomplish together when everybody does a little part. It was really amazing to come home and, and see this. And you know, you see the show and you know what happens, but nothing prepares you for it happening to you. But it's definitely a testament to what everybody can do when they come together and, and help each other and, and care for each other and are part of a team. So I just wanna thank everybody in the whole world <laughs> so that I don't leave anyone out. We don't take this for granted and you know we've been doing what we do now for a little over eight years without any um, seeking of reward or acknowledgement or praise and and yet we've received all of that and and we really appreciate that and we appreciate everything everybody's done for us and you know before this happened you know we were kind of stuck in a rut I think and now that this has happened, I think we have a very bright future, and we're looking forward to seeing what's going to happen. Uh, Eric and uh, Tommy from Chain Reaction Bikes here in Gainesville, uh, in conjunction with Giant Bikes, one of our big distributors, um, we're donating bikes for the entire family so y'all can continue to play together and have fun. <laughs> so that's something for you guys to all get. The bikes will be here in a couple of days. It was just one of those things that all happened so fast that we were trying to scramble and we brought these as kind of a representation oh, of what wow. you guys will get. We've got some cool BMX bikes for the boys and one for the girl as well. So you guys all have something new and fun for this team. Yeah. That was the way on the ball. That's gorgeous. One of you asked for a clown suit. Who is that? Guys, <laughs> 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 look. You, you happy? Yeah. Right. Thank you. Yeah. When we found out that we were nominated, it was it was exciting, but at the same time, you know, we never thought that it would be us. <laughs> so it was just nice of us. We thought, you know, that's great that somebody thought that we, you know, were good enough to get nominated, and we really didn't put a lot of stock in, in it actually happening. And when the bus pulled away. I don't even know what I thought. I just, I just thought it was the coolest house I ever saw. Cramming everything into four days um, is, you know, uh, a little bit of a combination at first of being absolutely terrified, absolutely thrilled, absolutely excited, um, and then you just kind of head into it and you just do it, and um, it, it's been amazing. I mean, I, I would do it again in a heartbeat. Um, you know, it, it, it's a whirlwind of emotions from exhaustion, being absolutely thrilled and having the reveal and just being amazed um, not only by the crowd's response and the family's response, but also just being amazed by our response to being able to get it done. So it's, it's across the board. <laughs> and we love the house. We really do. These guys did all a great job on it. But uh, you know, I, th I you know, a house will come and go. I think the thing that's really more meaningful is the relationships that uh, were created, and the friendships that were strengthened, and the strangers who became friends. Um, this is really a, a testament to what is possible when people get together and they do positive things together. And, you know, uh, Joe and I and our family—that's what we hope we're about, and that's what Street Percussion's about. I know that's what these guys are about. And, you know, we we hope that this just will continue beyond 
us because you know we're, we're obviously not the only people in the community that can get together and do things together yeah we we just hope that this would be an encouragement to anybody else that had a dream and had a vision and wanted to make people happy and do something positive in their, their community that's really what's important here and that's very meaningful to us favorite aspect of the house that i have more than one bathroom